China's rapid economic development is taking a toll on its environment, a problem for people whose lives depend on both. The problem is being tackled. For that purpose, the Chinese are inviting experts from Europe. The old world has learned from its own process of industrialization and can use this experience to help rising industrial nations. Which toxicants are they interested in? Invisible but ubiquitous are toxicants in the Yangtze River. The care for nature defies cultural discrepancies and welcomes scientific dialogue. Scientists from the Aachen University and China develop management concepts to maintain and improve the situation. The project is of paramount importance for the country. So people use the water for uh, agriculture, for industry. The Yangtze River is important to China. One area of great concern is the Three Gorges Reservoir, where more than 100 million people are living. Tielman Fleur has been analyzing the water for three years. After the construction of the Three Gorges Dam, uh, we have a new ecosystem and we want to see if the flooding of cities and um, industrial sites and mines and um, the whole area has any influence of the water on the water quality. The largest hydroelectric power station in the world creates jobs, revenue and electricity for China but may also cause collateral damage. Why is an international project required to look into this problem? Aachen University is a well-known university in the field of water research and technology. That was one of the reasons why colleagues from China asked us to investigate in a joint activity the envi environmental quality of the Yangtze Reservoir. Now, it's a very challenging task, this project, because uh, a lot of uh, different people have to be integrated in this project and uh, many disciplines have to be integrated. Overall aim is that we all together find a way to keep the environment intact. The scientists of the Yangtze project are not bound by borders because neither is the problem they are solving. They are bound by responsibility. When working together, challenges, both cultural and scientific, are tackled through understanding and mutual respect. Is it functional or um, is there anything missing so you, th oh, so you think you need more or? Um, the funny thing is that every time we needed something, the Chinese found ah. what we needed. <laughs> so um, I think the most important thing is to plan, but to be aware that all your plans will be shattered <laughs> as soon as you get there. Every time we, uh, when we uh, needed to get some sediment, we had to organize a boat. And so we asked the fishermen if they can uh, drive us out into the water, take us out. And um, sometimes it was a good boat, a big boat, and sometimes it was just a very small fisher boat. But it was always interesting and I've always felt safe. So maybe that's the most important part. Yeah. We mainly asked them if they want to take us out onto the water. We are scientists from Germany and from Chongqing University. And we are sampling, um, the word was sand, sand from the bottom. Sometimes. A plastic bag, yeah. <laughs> that was actually the big hit. We didn't expect it to get <laughs> fight. It's not only extracting sediments, nope. you also do something with fish? Yeah. Um, we want to see if we um, can see any, any effects in the fish themselves. And it always has to be the same size. This is why I have a ruler in my hand. Yeah. And I... Um, take the fish out and yeah 
try to measure if it's the, the right length. Yeah, so that was uh, our procedure. We go to the to the fishermen in the morning, uh, usually, and then uh, we told them the evening before uh, what kind of fish we want. And then we went there and I had a look at the fish and picked um, 10 to 20 fish. And then we bought them. That's what you could see, the woman with the scale. <laughs> so we had to pay them, of course. <laughs> but because you kill them. Afterwards, yeah. Is it worth it to kill it? It's a philosophical question and I think every uh, every scientist has to ask this question himself. So if I have to kill a hundred fish to save um, a million, then yes, I would do it. We try to get the uh, blood from the fin. You want to get a very thin layer of blood. It will be fixed in methanol and then you then it's safe to carry it back to Germany. And then we have a look at if there are any micronuclei. Mm. So this is a sign that there has been uh, have been gene toxic effects. The German Ministry of Education and Research funded this huge project and together with our colleagues from China we had the possibility to do a very comprehensive work at the Yangtze Reservoir. The work is not finished yet. The chairman of the expert panel is hoping for a continuation of the project. So I think it's a uh, very interesting uh, international uh, research cooperation be like, uh, between uh, China like the Germany is a very uh, uh, variable and uh, ve very thoughtful. The first step has been to analyze the ecological situation. The second step is poised to begin in 2014. Its aim will be the reduction of toxins in identified hotspot areas, thus making life at the Yonsei River safer.